welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit random, uh, very spontaneous, I haven't planned this at all. Uh, but basically I got some new fidget toys a couple of days ago and I sort of just wanted to do a video all about the fidget toys I have, um, you know, which ones I like best, why I like them best, um, and just basically rate and talk about all of my different fidget toys that I have. <laughs> so I have quite a sizable collection here uh so yeah i just literally i'm just gonna go through these ones by one uh like tell you which one's my favorite what i use each of them for because i use certain ones in certain situations uh you know which ones i would recommend um and why <laughs> uh and yeah i just wanted to go through my fidget toys basically so i think i'm probably gonna make this an autism reviews video even though it's kind of a little bit different from my usual ones um so yeah i'm just gonna sit here and review my fidget toys uh, so you know, if you didn't know, I am autistic, um, and I mean fidget toys are a very personal thing so I wouldn't put too much stock in what I say to be honest, um, I just sort of wanted to give you a little bit of insight into, you know, why I like certain toys more than others and which ones I use in different situations, but honestly fidget toys are an incredibly personal thing so, um, you know, you're completely free to disagree with me, uh, and everyone likes different things for different reasons. And you never know, you might not, you might not have even heard of some of these, so if it helps you discover some new fidget toys, then all the better. <laughs> I am not going to be going through these in any particular order, just I have a whole pile of them in front of me, and I'm just going to pick them up as I see fit. Uh, but I thought I would start with my good old favourite twiddle. Um, I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but I call it a twiddle. Uh, this is the first fidget toy I ever got. Um, I think my mum got it for me. I also have a green glow in the dark one. Um, it was just off like an autism fidget toys website. Uh, she got this for me back when like early secondary school years, well maybe mid secondary school, like year nine. So it was like four years ago or something now. Um, but yeah, this is the old fave um, and it is still my favourite to this day. So yeah, this twiddle is, well, it's just exactly what it sounds like really. You twiddle, you play with it. Um, yep, that is pretty much it. <laughs> um, you can wrap it around your wrist. I tend to do this to sort of keep it out of the way when I'm out and about. Um, so yeah, this is just, this is one of my favourites. Uh, this one definitely gets a 5 out of 5 stars. I love this one. Um, you know, if I'm ever in doubt <laughs> over what toy I want to use, it's always this one. Um, it's definitely my favourite by far, it's just, it's super easy to use, it's, you know, it's easy to put away, uh, if you need to do something you can just wrap it around your wrist and carry on with whatever you were doing, because uh, I often find with some fidget toys you're kind of then just left holding them, and they're kind of in the way when you're trying to do other things. Uh, but yeah, this is easily my old favourite, uh, it's fairly quiet, uh, it doesn't make a huge amount of noise or anything, so you can use it pretty discreetly. Uh, you can even like wear it as a bracelet if you wanted to. So yeah, it is pretty discreet. Uh, I wish it wasn't blue. I wish it could be black or white. Uh, but the thing about a lot of fidget toys in general, which you will see throughout this video, is that they are all very colourful. Uh, because they are designed for children, essentially. Uh, which does really annoy me, personally, because, you know, a lot of fidget toys are designed with you know, autistic nine-year-old boys in mind, basically, which is great, but, you know, there are other people who need fidget toys as well, um, so yes, I'm autistic, but I'm not a nine-year-old boy, <laughs> and never have been, um, so yeah, I would like fidget toys that match my aesthetic a little bit more, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's annoying that they're all very colourful, um, but you know, so yeah, this one definitely gets 5 out of 5 stars. I think perhaps there's a little bit of a nostalgia feeling to it, uh, just because it was my first fidget toy, um, and it has it got me through a lot of years at school. Uh, so and that's, that's saying something. So it holds a special place in my heart. But yeah, I really love this. If you just like to have something to do, like this, this is all I do with it, pretty much. Um, yeah. These are really good. I'll leave the links to all of these fidget toys down below, by the way. So yeah, five out of five for the good old favorite twiddle. The next one is this soft little square that I knitted myself. Um, so yeah, I, I made this myself, so I'm not gonna be able to put a link to it down below, but basically I, um, I found some really soft wool in Hobbycraft, I bought it and I knitted it into this little rectangle. Um, I knitted several of them, so I have several. Um, and yeah, it's literally just a little soft square. 
Um, and when I say it's soft, I really mean it's soft. <laughs> So yeah, this was a twiddle I made myself. Um, it's not one that I use on a daily basis and it's also not great for the summer because uh, it's very hot at the moment. Um, but it's one that I use, it's sort of, it's a very comforting one because it's so soft. Um, so it's sort of, it has a very calming effect I find um, as opposed to things like the twiddle. These are more stress relievers whereas this has a slightly more calming effect if you know what I mean you know like so things like this allow me to relieve stress and frustration whereas this allows me to feel calm so I often bring these things uh, to the doctors with me um, as well as like stuffed animals and things um, so yeah I made this one myself but five out of five <laughs> one of the best things I've ever made it is literally just a rectangle of soft wool <laughs> Uh, but really great so if you know how to knit or if you know someone who can knit just get them to make you a soft rectangle <laughs> um, and I'm actually in still in the process of making like a really huge one uh, that I can turn into like a blanket or something um, and this is the same wool that my sister made my uh, like Weasley jumper out of for my birthday last year slightly different color but yeah <laughs> I wish you could feel it through the camera because it honestly is it's so soft <laughs> And I don't think you can fully appreciate how soft it is unless you feel it. Uh, but yeah, I would highly recommend you making or getting one of these. So the next fidgets are these little worry stones that I have. I have loads of these. I've got a couple of others lying around somewhere. I actually have a necklace that is also, it wasn't meant to be a fidget toy, but I made it into a fidget toy. In fact, let me get it. This necklace is from Marks and Spencers and I use this as a sort of worry stone that I can wear. Uh, but it does look you know like fancy jewellery. Uh, it was just from Marks and Spencers and yeah you can see on the back it is very much like a worry stone. <laughs> but yeah I have several of these. Um, I've got these little ones that are more indented and then these sorts of heart ones that don't have an indent. Uh, they're kind of just to play with. I don't particularly use these sorts of worry stones that often because I don't find they're quite as they're not quite as effective as more things like the twiddles and things that I can more actively play with and also because they are generally very small um, and I have Tourette's uh, these are the sorts of things that get thrown around dropped all the time uh, so they're just not very effective for me personally because I just can't keep tra track of them very easily <laughs> so although it is very nice to play with them uh, they're just not particularly useful to me uh, because I do have Tourette's and I'm just clumsy in general. Um, I drop things all the time so these things they get dropped, thrown about um, and yeah I just can't keep hold of them very easily. Uh, like I'm even, I'm having trouble holding this up um, as you may be able to tell. I do, that's why I like this necklace a little bit more uh, because of course you wear it as a necklace just like this um, so then of course it's around your neck so you don't have to worry about dropping it and you can play with it like this. So this actually works really well for me um, and I will often use this, I use this a lot, you know, if I'm wearing an outfit that doesn't have pockets, which is unfortunately far too common and therefore it may be difficult for me to hold a fidget without having somewhere to put it afterwards, uh, you know, when I'm trying to do something else, then I'll wear this necklace so that I can have a fidget that I can easily just drop to do something else. So yeah, in general, I don't really use worry stones, but having this one on a necklace, which wasn't really designed to be a worry stone, but is very much used and looks like one, uh, is has been really good. So for worry stones in general, I would probably give them like a two out of five stars. I just, they're just not really my thing. Um, they don't really uh, work with my <laughs> disabilities. Um, they just get dropped and thrown far too often. However, this specific one, I would give like a four out of five stars. It's not my favorite fidget in the world, but it'll do in the short term. Um, it's great, like I say, when I don't have pockets and things to put things in, so I can just have this around my neck. Um, and it blends in so easily with an outfit. <laughs> you know, I mean, you would never think of this as a fidget, would you? So overall, Worry Stones get two out of five stars, but this one specifically gets a four out of five stars. Okay, next up on the list is this piece of t-shirt that I cut off, <laughs> which is rather random. Uh, but yeah, this is literally just a strip of fabric that was originally part of a t-shirt uh, but I cut it up for something. I don't remember what I cut it up for but I cut it up. Oh no, I do remember. If you watch the vlogs, um, I did like a, uh, a photo shoot where I, 
uh, like covered myself in fake moss and sat in a load of bin bags um, and I cut up a really huge t-shirt for that purpose uh, so this is from that t-shirt um, and yeah it's literally just a really lovely stretchy piece of string basically um, which became a new fidget so yeah this is pro probably the most inexpensive thing I have <laughs> literally just a piece of t-shirt anyone can make one of these just find a somewhat stretchy t-shirt that's old and cut a strip off the bottom uh, but yeah it's pretty useful <laughs> it's fun to play with um, as I said with the twiddle you can wrap it around your hand or your wrist which is great for when you you know need to do something and you need to put the twiddle down you could even wear this as a bracelet <laughs> or something if you wanted to uh, you know you could tie it around your wrist I don't really do bracelets personally, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, it's pretty unassuming. <laughs> and yeah, it's just really fun. The only hazard of it is that, of course, because it's stretchy, it's somewhat likely that I'll like ping it across the room at someone. Um, so perhaps not one I would suggest taking to like a party or something. But then I don't go to parties, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> so yeah, it's certainly fun. Again, I don't love it quite as much as my twiddle, but it works very much the same way. Um, stretchy, easy to wrap around your wrist or your fingers, whatever. Um, and yeah, just something to do this with, basically. I think I'd give this probably a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Really great and so, so affordable. <laughs> you know, literally just find an old pyjama t-shirt and cut a strip off the bottom. So yeah, 4.5 for my piece of t-shirt. The next is an old favourite. The fidget spinner. <laughs> so, um, unless you were living under a rock about five years ago, you'll remember when fidget spinners were all the rage, uh, which is a whole nother video uh, about why turning fidget toys and things into trends is a terrible idea and severely impacts the disabled community. But we're not here to talk about that. So, <laughs> I did originally have a bright pink fidget spinner back when I was in secondary school like 2016 we're talking about here um and that was it was literally like one pound <laughs> from the pound shop or something uh super cheap it was just the first one i found um and bright pink was brighter than bright orange so i got the pink one um and i was looking to replace it for years and for christmas last year i got this cool dragon one you can see it's uh like multicolored, like chromatic um and it's in the shape of dragon wings and it's got like a dragon eye in the middle that also kind of looks like the uh, the eye of sauron um <laughs> and yeah it's so much cooler than the bright pink trash i had before <laughs> so yeah i'm pretty sure we all know what a fidget spinner is because you know we were all here for 2016 um and yeah it's just a fidget spinner. I think I personally would give fidget spinners about a three out of five. I don't use them a lot personally because it doesn't actually, you know, although the movement is fun, I am not moving when I'm using it. You know, I just, I just spin it and that's it, which isn't uh, particularly helpful to me. Uh, Cause the point is I like, I need my hands to be moving and doing something. Um, so yeah, although it's fun to balance it and stuff, um, and move it around, it's, you can't see it, but yeah, I, I can balance it on a lot of fingers basically, but not up here. Um, so yeah, although it's fun to use, and of course this one is super cool and super pretty, um, I don't use them much day to day, they're not really useful for me to take it out and about, it's more something that I might use, like, at the dinner table or something, um, just to like distract me I guess because it's fun to watch or sometimes I use them when I'm watching movies and things just for something to do because uh, I'm just incapable of sitting and watching a movie <laughs> um, and doing nothing else um, so yeah I don't use these particularly a lot day to day but um, they're still pretty cool so yeah I would in general give the fidget spinner a 3 out of 5 stars but you know this particular one gets 5 out of 5 stars just because like look how freaking cool it is <laughs> But in general, it's a 3 out of 5 stars. Next up, we have this thingy. With, I don't know what these are called, but it's it's one of these things that you can like, you know? But I have no idea what they're called. <laughs> um, I used to have like 
uh, my sister and I used to have a toy uh, when we were little when it was it was like this sort of thing but it was in the shape of a man um, like a person and you could move his limbs in different directions uh, so yeah I have no idea what these are called for the sake of this video we're gonna call them um, string cubes um, so yeah, <laughs> this one I honestly don't really use much on a day-to-day -day basis because it requires more like thought put into it than a normal, just like a piece of string or something does. Uh, Cause of course it only moves in certain directions. So you have to actually, you know, move it in those directions. You can't just mindlessly fiddle with it really. I mean you can, but it doesn't, you know, it, like it's not doing it quite as easily as like a twizzle or my piece of t-shirt <laughs> um so yeah i honestly don't really use these it's just something that i've had you know i think like this is i don't think this is even technically mine it was just like something that was in mine and my sister's collective toy drawer <laughs> that i happened to claim <laughs> so yeah i don't really use this much on a day-to-day -day basis because i more like things i can do mindlessly um just to keep my hands busy um, but it is good for, you know, like I tend to use this sort of thing when I'm like having a panic attack or something because uh, it's something to focus on, um, you know, so I try and make specific shapes by, you know, obviously moving things because <laughs> you've got to move them in a specific direction. So it's like, oh, how, you know, how small can I make it? And yeah, so that's what I use it for. It's less of a day to day fiddle toy and more of a like focus on this thing so you don't panic toy so yeah honestly personally i'd probably just give this like a one out of five stars just for me i really don't use this i probably use this like once in the last five years um they're just not particularly my thing but i do know some people really like them i know some people prefer to have something to focus on um i don't really i'm you know i'm too busy focusing on not crying <laughs> um and so i just have something to play with to keep my hands busy that's more what i like but you know as i said at the beginning of this video everyone is completely different so i personally would give this a one out of five stars but you might give it a five and if you know what these are actually called then let me know <laughs> next up we have another old favorite which is the fidget cube this one is mercifully black um got this off amazon so i got to choose what color it was um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure we all know what a fidget cube is. Um, it's just got loads of different things. It's got a little worry thing here. Um, it's got a switch, which is personally one of my favorite things. So it's, it's just like a light switch. <laughs> um, it has this, which just goes around in a circle. It's got like a Joy-Con stick that you can just move up and down, round to round, side and side. Um, it's got this, which has three little dials you can turn as well as this little circle it's just like a little ball that you can move um, and then it has the buttons which three of which make a noise and these two don't so yeah it's just a fidget cube with a whole load of different fidgets in one um, I find that this is very useful uh, for just kind of doing a whole load of different things because uh, it's got a whole load of different sensory inputs depending on what you want so it's got um you know like a worry thing uh it's got buttons i really like the buttons personally i like the noise um and i also really like the switch because again i like the noise and it's just kind of something to do you know it's like that nice repetitive movement that keeps me busy but is completely mindless um, I personally don't really like the twisty thing that much because it's just hard to sort of keep going consistently um, and the same with the Joy-Con uh, but you know again these are all you know very personal people will like different things but you know the beauty of a fidget cube is that they've got them all in one um, so it's a very inexpensive way of getting a whole load of different fidgets it's also a very nice size you know it's a size that you know even a child could use and they could still hold it um, you know but then also me being a fully grown adult can still use it and it's still a nice size and it's just big enough that it's you know i'm not going to drop it a lot <laughs> but you know you can also reach everything 
with just a couple of fingers so yeah it's just it's a really nice size it's very well designed um, and it's very versatile because it just has so many fidgets in one little toy. So I think personally I would give this a 4 out of 5 stars just because I don't use it as much as my other things. But you know in terms of what it is it gets a 5 out of 5 stars because I would really recommend a fidget cube. Um, you know it's so versatile it has so many things in one. Um, you know for what you're getting you're essentially getting like 6 fidgets for the price of one. Um, and yeah they're just they're very useful very compact um, and I really love it. And it's black, thank god. <laughs> the next fidget is this Chinese finger trap, which I have no idea where I got this. Uh, this is just, again, one of those things that I feel like was just in the collective toy drawer that I took. Um, so yeah, it's just, <laughs> I think it was probably just something we got from, you know, like just the random trash you get in like gift shops and things. It's probably one of those things. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a Chinese finger trap. Uh, not a particularly effective one. It's really easy to get out of. Um, but yeah, there's really not any more to it than that. I personally don't really use this much just because I have other fidget toys that I really like way more. Um, but honestly, like playing with it now, it is pretty good. Um, the only thing about it is that it's not easy to put down because obviously if you put your fingers in it, right the whole point is that it's not supposed to let you out um and so it could be you know somewhat stressful to obviously if someone asks you to take something and you've got your fingers stuck in this so yeah i don't particularly use this very much just because i have so many other things that i like better um but it is pretty good uh but it's just something that i wouldn't use that much purely because it's not easy to put down at a moment's notice <laughs> So yeah, overall I'd probably give it like a 3 out of 5 stars. It is fun, but the big flaw in it for me is that I can't put it down quickly. The next one is one of my newest additions to the collection that I got the other day, and it is this thingy. <laughs> um, I have no idea what you'd call this. It's like, you know, like those knuckle duster things, but made out of rubber. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of like one of those exercise things as well. Um, I'm personally am very weak um, so I can't really like that is as far as I can pull it um, but yeah just something you can play with really um, I don't really expect to use this very much it was just sort of adding to the collection I apologize if you can hear people outside by the way but yeah it's kind of just something fun again probably just something I would you know use while I was watching a movie or you know it's the sort of thing I might just have by my desk just to play with for a couple of minutes while something's transferring um so yeah all in all it's not something I would really take out of the house uh but it's just one of those things I have lying around um that I'd use while waiting for the microwave to cook something <laughs> you know something like that again it's blue because all kids toys are colorful um so yeah I'd probably give it like a two or a three stars. Um, not really hugely bothered with this one. It's just sort of something I have lying around. Um, but it's kind of cool. And it was only two pounds, so, you know. The next thing is yet another thing that I'm pretty sure I just stole from the collective toy drawer. Um, and it's this. Uh, just one of those, you know, stress ball things got the beads inside and it's nice and squishy. I never really used this much until a couple of weeks ago when I found it again um, and now I love it. Um, so yeah it's very useful to sort of take out and about. Um, the only thing about it is that it is fairly big uh, so unless you like this is not fitting in my jeans pocket you know let's just put it that way. Um, so it's kind of something you have to keep a hold of or if you have like a tote bag that's easily you know having things chucked in it so yeah this one is quite big and not necessarily quite as practical as the others but it is very nice um it certainly does relieve stress the only thing i would say is that the outside is made of like a rubbery material uh so it can get sticky and stuff can get stuck to it which is not nice like actually it's terrible <laughs> um especially for those of us with sensory issues um yeah so it's the sort of thing you kind of have to keep you know clean um, you know, I'd recommend washing it and for some people it might just not be, it might just not at all be viable um, because of how it feels. So yeah, I personally don't mind it but I think I'd probably give it like a 
three three out of five stars just because the outside I can definitely see that it's gonna cause a lot of people sensory issues because uh, it gets sticky and dirty very easily and it also just generally is made out of a material that could cause sensory issues um, and also it's quite big so it's not easy to put away but it does certainly re relieve stress <laughs> the penultimate fidget that I have is this cat cradle string uh, this is a string that came with my original cat's cradle book uh, when I was like four years old uh, my mum taught me how to do it <laughs> um, so yeah if you don't know what cat's cradle is um, google it <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's kind of a British thing um, and like probably an old British thing at that uh, but my mum always taught me how to do it and it's stuck <laughs> I don't know many other people my age that even know what it is uh, let alone know how to do it uh, but yeah got a teacup and the Eiffel Tower <laughs> and I don't know if I remember how to do Jacob's Ladder but give me a second there we go <laughs> Took a few minutes to remember it, but yeah. <laughs> Cat's Cradle is a thing that I did quite a lot at school, and then obviously there's the big one that you can do with another person, but I can't show you that because I'm the only one here. Uh, so yeah, if you know what I'm talking about when I say Cat's Cradle, let me know. <laughs> um, and yeah, at a very base level, this is literally just a piece of string, uh, which is obviously fun to play with, but I personally find it fun to also do the different shapes and things that I know how to do. Um, again, it's just kind of something that you can do to take your mind off things. Uh, for me, it's fairly mindless because I've been doing these sorts of things since I was a child. Um, so yeah, I know most of them off by heart. Um, so yeah, it's just fun and again, at its base level, it's just a piece of string to play with. It's also another one that you can easily wrap around your wrist if you need to. <laughs> The final fidget I have is something I got in the post just yesterday. Um, I've been seeing these online and I really wanted one but it was really hard to find one that wasn't really colourful basically because uh, I wanted a black one. So I got it off Amazon um, and I did not expect it to love it as much as I do. <laughs> I expected it to just be another little thing to add to my collection to just play with occasionally but oh my god I love this and it is a push pop it board. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this thing. <laughs> I, yeah, I got it in the post yesterday and oh my God, it is so fun. I will overlay a little clip so that you can hear and see how this works, but I just, I love it so. And yeah, it's needless to say that I am having a lot of fun with this. Um, I spent about 40 minutes playing with this when it first arrived in the post. Um, so yeah, it's really good. It's not one that I would really take out of the house uh, because it's kind of one that it's just big enough that I can't really reach with both my hands to do all of them. Um, so it's something I kind of, I put on a surface and use. Um, so it's the sort of thing, again, I might use it like the dinner table or something. Um, so yeah, it's not really one that I would use while I was walking around. Uh, you can get much smaller ones and I think I might get a smaller little handheld one to like attach to a keychain or something because I think that would be really good. Um, so yeah, I might look into that. Uh, but yeah, this sort of bigger one uh, is kind of for at home only but it's definitely something I would and have already used while watching movies. Um, and yeah, it's just great for sitting down, you know, playing with at your desk and stuff and I would... 100% recommend this. 5 out of 5 stars. And I realised I didn't give the Cat's Cradle a rating so I'll give this 4 out of 5 stars. It is essentially just a piece of string but it gets a few extra points for you know the, nos the nostalgia factor um, and also just because it's kind of something to focus on. And that is all of my fidget toys. As you can see I have a fair few and you know I still use plenty of other random things like you know the back of the TV remote and just other random things like that to fidget with. Um, at a moment's notice. But yeah, it's needless to say that I love my fidget toys um, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. <laughs> um, if you found this helpful or entertaining in any way, let me know. Um, I'm sure I will accrue more fidget toys over the years, so if you want me to do another one of these, uh, then I will <laughs> when I have some more toys. Um, 
and yeah in the meantime um like the video if you enjoyed um subscribe for more i do weekly vlogs as well as other miscellaneous videos on wednesdays um and yeah let me know if you have any questions in the comments below um i'd be happy to point you in the direction of any good fidget toys and i will leave the links in the description um and yeah other than that i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video